right, ladies and gentlemen, if you can see it there, the infamous coin paprika chart, we are looking at cubic. Uh, although charts are starting to pop up on trading you for this, I have been waiting patiently since August of last year for the MXC chart, uh, which feels like anyways, I may be wrong on that. But here we are drawn down into uh, the lowest point that uh, I've wanted to hold on the charts here. And we have a beautiful falling wedge uh, into potential bull flag here on the daily chart for cubic. Well, it has pumped here a little bit. And I say a little bit, it's up 100% in just the last two days. Um, it is a project that does like to move, but if we just head over to their Twitter page here quick, finally, 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 we have, seems like only yesterday, the community was asking for an MXC listing. The day is here. Uh, Cubic is now available for trading on MXC, a top global crypto exchange. Uh, this marks a major milestone for Cubic in this uh, Setco's promise of five more listings. So. It will be available here shortly at uh, midnight UTC on the 17th, uh, which may have already passed. I'm not quite sure. I do apologize. But if you would like to pick it up on MXC Global, QR code on your screen. I will have a link below in the description as well if you want to become a member of the crew. And most of all, don't forget, hop over into Discord, discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels. If you are a US participant trying to hop on MXC, make sure you check out Palau ID to become a digital resident so you can trade over on MXC Global. But back to the charts over here, let's just hop back over to Cubic here. I mean, this is one of those positions, if we go out to the weekly, where a lot of altcoins have done the same exact thing. We had the original break of structure here on the weekly chart. You know, if we're just looking at fundamental trading, you kind of wait for the retest of this weekly break. It did come down and grab completely the naked point of control here on the weekly chart stopping out any longs who have been in this entire area down here and the charges reset at this point. So hopefully we can get a breakout here, RSI and uh, stock are coming up. Uh, this is tough to see way down here, but the stochastic here has been making higher highs here for weeks since the middle of June. Uh, since the beginning of June, it's been slowly coming up as the price action has been drawing down and you can see bullish divergence here forming on the daily chart uh, pretty deep as well. If we do not get up and over this, you know, a hundred, another 50% drawdown, and then further down here would be pretty much the collapse uh, of the structure of the chart here, completely resetting cubic. And uh, I'd be questioning whether the project would, would where, where they're at with the project at this point forward, um, as far as uh, price appreciation. So hopefully this is what holds. We are up against resistance. The breakout of this would be huge okay it would be another 200 percent to the upside here revisiting these daily highs and if we can get this falling wedge to play out if bitcoin holds and we start breaking up into all new highs and the summer lull is actually over and all coins are finding their bottoms on the weekly and the monthly charts and we start moving back up in that trend to the upside this could be very 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 bullish so again that first stop here is going to be probably a little bit of a hiccup here at the 5-4 area uh, in this area right here you know a little bit of accumulation there that has occurred in the past and potentially i apologize this chart looks super small to everybody it's so different than my normal trading view setup so coming up into this area right here and if we do break through that again i think that full 200 percent move is certainly in the cards uh, i've been dca into this kind of slowly over time here every time we break a level and we find support you know i was dca down here quite a bit and then dca in this area quite a bit and now we've had uh, a little bit of what we call that shoulder head shoulder pattern really starting to form out here. Let me see if I can actually find a drawing tool here. I don't know that I can. Is this here's the pen, here's the brush. So shoulder, head, you know, maybe that shoulder is what really fills us out here. And we head on up to the upside. This is a pattern that potentially would take weeks to months uh, to fill out. You know, we've been going sideways here for sideways and down uh, for quite a long time, just from the date range here. You know, it's been uh, 137 days. So the better part of uh, four, four and a half months uh, for this drawdown. And it's just been original whales, probably just taking profits on every bounce uh, and then DCAing a little lower and then trying to figure out which way uh, we're going to go from here. But if this falling wedge does break out, I mean, it's large, right? Here's that move. So all the way down from the last expression into this consolidation pattern, which is bullish. And then potentially we head back out 
over the top here and this would give us you know some kind of target to break the all-time highs right you know do we come back up to this daily order block weekly order block so we get price action that comes up to the upside and then we probably have a cup and handle situation much like this and then we have you know a, a measured move that can potentially uh, be the cup and handle i'm just theory crafting at this point in time you know something like this and then there we go that gives us our path up and over you know casper just, just had a very similar play that looks like this um a lot of altcoins you know potentially will do uh something very very similar if the altcoin market is going to continue to the upside but i'm not gonna keep it long here guys there's been actually a lot of news in the cubic block um just as far as other updates here the the wallet changes have been coming so the q explorer is now called veil or valis uh from the valis team over in the community-led project they had a very nice and long um uh what a x space twitter space a couple days ago uh had a couple influencers in there and they talked about a, a bunch of news and things of that nature i uh, actually watched it live and recorded the video and didn't realize i had uh something on the go xlr i thought was muted actually playing in the background the whole time so i couldn't actually use the video uh but other things they got a, a coin market cap listing finally uh, here we go on the number one trending coin in the AI sector here. Uh, remember, we are up at 1.1, like $1.2 billion market cap at one point. So the drawdown has been pretty significant here on Cubic. And uh, not that we can't do it again here. So what's the drawdown total here? About 88%, 89%. I mean, we've given it all back at this point, right? So uh, a lot of altcoins are free for the taking right now. If you're looking to DCA in, uh, if you're looking for some more ideas besides cubic don't forget to hop over in discord discord.gg slash defi rebels and then just one more time through the twitter here for them um if they redid their website again so if you haven't checked that out uh they redid the roadmap updates and uh here's a pretty interesting summary here so a a gra ai gra Grath is their their AI tech, right? I'm not going to go through all this. So 925k raise for the community for exchanges, safe trade, trade ogre, xt.com, uh, bit to me, coin ex, bit panda, um, ascendix, gate.io, bitget, chain ge, and uh, MXC was announced obviously today. And uh, they, they've been forming out a team and getting some stuff done here. I still think it's a great project. I think I need to start seeing some price appreciation and some uh, things moving forward here. Uh, fortunately, you know, I'm still in profit on uh, the actual project itself because we've been DCAing in since, you know, way before the change. Uh, the what's the ogre, the ogre one, whatever that listing was, uh, we got in before all that happened. Uh, but at the end of the day here, guys, let me know what you think. You know, still loving Cubic? Do you like what they're doing? Are you hanging out in their Discord? Their Discord's huge. It's like 60,000 people over there. So it's a very, very big community. It's got a lot of public backing. So if we can start getting some price appreciation here, it won't take much for people to start hopping on board. Again, keep an eye out on this, you know, this 0 0.000078 number uh, to get back to this double top and potentially bull flag out. And then we have some continuation from there. That's going to be it, guys. Quick five. We're about eight minutes in, eight and a half minutes in here. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out of here.